point on it, mm -hmm. but it dropped down after we did it again. Mm -hmm. Get this baby moving. She been hiding from you. Mm -hmm. Listen, she hides from other people, <laughs> and she just she's camera shy. Today she was had my whole stomach doing a jig, and then I took out the camera and she stopped completely. And yep, that's how Aquarius baby. She stopped me completely. <laughs> they, they are like eccentric. I was like, <laughs> you literally, like it, and then you it literally soon. had your feet coming through, <laughs> and then as soon as I said I want to catch it on camera, she was like, no. No, ma'am. At all. I was like, that's that really the what the Braxton Hicks. Mm -hmm. I only had maybe a few. Mm -hmm. Like a week ago. I was like, what are you doing in here? I had to research that. I was like, what is she doing? What um, what you think of the Braxton Hicks? It weren't bad. It was just like, it honestly felt like, that's why I thought it was her. Mm -hmm. It felt like she was balled up and rolling around. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, because she was over here mm -hmm. and she just happened to be moving at the same time that they were happening. So I was like, are you like completely turning around rearranging or what are you doing? And then it was because it kept happening. I'm like, let me look this up. And I'm like, she feels like she's just rolling around. We got some aloe vera gel today. Should have told me I got some of that too. Because I, I use it with my dog. <laughs> yes. You gonna go down in history as the most prepared client I had. I bought a bottle because I ran out of what they they gave me with my doctor. So I was like, let me get some of this aloe. Yeah. We're gonna start with the massage. Let's see where baby girl at today. We're gonna do Jasmine. Now. <laughs> you know she gotta get warmed up. She's so character. She's still on her favorite side now. That's her. That's where she be at. She don't move for nobody. She can be kicking. I'm like. Okay, because I went home to see my mom last week, and my mom was like, I want to feel it. I'm like, okay, she's kicking right here. Put your hand on her. She stops. <laughs> well, um, how was your trip? That was good. Yeah. She stops. My yeah. best friend's like, where is she? I'm like, she's right here. She moves. <laughs> I'm like, you're making me look like a liar now. Yeah. <laughs> she finally <laughs> decided to join the party. She didn't come out for Jasmine at all, though, so. She watched from the cage the entire time of the <laughs> Like, I ain't participating. What kind of cat did you get? It's a calico, but she's a. What's the ones that are kind of like. Um, whatever. She's gray. And, uh tan and white, mm -hmm. white paws. Oh. Unless she wears yeah. socks. Yeah. Okay, we just almost at 30. <laughs> Why are you looking like that, Simone? What? I, no, I wasn't looking all kind of way. <laughs> no, because she was looking at my um, my line earlier and she was like, your line was not way up there at your mm -hmm. tattoo last time. I said, you sure? Then I looked at your picture last time, I said, oh, you're right. I said, it was just about down, mm -hmm. just starting to come up over there. Girl, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> it is the wrong time. I ate that sugar and you still gonna try to go to sleep? Just need to be warmed up a little bit. I gave you airheads and everything. <laughs> She's like, no, man. And I just told you him. You should've just I, dance. I just told him, <laughs> I said, oh, she kicking out good. I mm -hmm. said, she been that act up. Like, I know what time it is. She she's always knows. In that belly. She's deep today, too. Funny thing is, she's always in there. Because sometimes she kicks up here. Mm -hmm. But her fists, when she's punching, mm -hmm. they're up under my belly. And I'm like, what are you doing way down there? Look at him, bro. Child. Had to be mine, right? Mm -hmm. She acting up today. Always. <laughs> but when anybody but us here, she having a party. I don't know. I'll be seeing the videos. That's the mommy's care. You can't be like that when people when you come out and people want to see you. She's shy. Was 
you shy as you when you were young? Oh no. Well, no. <laughs> I had to ask my mom. Yeah. Could have been. I think I, I'm like that now though. I have to warm up to people. Mm -hmm. That's what she do. That is her signature move. Especially if she know you listen. This girl been up today since this morning, jumping around, moving, kicking. Now during the appointment, you sleep. You like your own mom. <laughs> Something, man. I need you not to have this schedule when you come out. <laughs> starting to try to come from up here and I'm like, oh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I see some darker ones coming from the top. I said, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Not today, ma'am. No, you have zero pain tolerance. No, I have tolerance. no pain tolerance for No, you do not have any pain tolerance at all. I have a, like, a high pain tolerance for You don't. Let your massages. You don't. You be breaking my bones. You don't. What, what is your test? 
testament to pain tolerance? What are you measuring it against prior, I mean, other than her massages? What else have you experienced that's letting you know? Oh, the, my tattoos, my piercings, I never broke anything, so I can't base it on that. Mm -hmm. But I like, a, like, pain gives me adrenaline, except when she's over here trying to break me in half. Girl, please. And um, how do you cope? I'm white. Yeah, you internalize I'm it. internal. <laughs> except when someone's like trying too. to break me. She can give you a test, back massage, and you'll see what I'm that talking about. Yes, it do. Oh, it doesn't. Yes, it do. It doesn't count, because you know my bones have been hurting since I've been pregnant. Your bones are hurting before she pregnancy. She just about her massage, and she thinks that, that that's a fair, that's a fair judgment. <laughs> finish putting these steps in my list. I think numbers. I have a high pain. No. I'm very, that's it, I just internal, I internalize, and that's why I got my music. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a music person. Mm -hmm. If I have some music and some quiet, mm -hmm. I'm on it. Now, if you in my ear talking, <laughs> that's gonna aggravate me. When people talking to me, yeah. that's why I hope my mom will come up here wanting to talk during that. I don't like when people talking to me. And then when you find that you reach a threshold, what do you do? Are you like a clincher, like I'm a, uh, like you clinch up, lock your jaw or any of that, or you kind of like? I ball up. Yeah. I ball up. Mm -hmm. Because I have, I don't have, I didn't, I didn't, I've never had terrible period cramps, mm -hmm. but that first day is always my worst day. And I'm the type that I gotta lay, I gotta lay and ball up. Mm -hmm. Have the ball of a state ball up. So, let me pull up these notes. Um, I'll let you look at that while I talk. That's the range of herbs that I'm going to use, right? Mm -hmm. And that's right. You already got one on the list that I was going to ask you about. Yeah, yeah. which one? The raspberry. Yes. So, you can start that now. Yeah. I was gonna, that was my question. Yep. So, I'll. Okay. Start toning that wound now. Actually, you got two on here. Which okay. one? What's the other one? Primrose. Yes. Those are the two <laughs> See, that I, I need you to see. Yes, ma'am. I was just telling my spouse if I left, I love her because all I have to do is mention something and she's looking for understanding. <laughs> I don't have to teach from scratch with her. Oh, no, you don't start moving <laughs> now. <laughs> yep. After that, right there. She, she right over there. Baby, what's time? She right over there. But yes, yeah, so. um those are the two I need you to start taking now. And just like we're doing this in a timely fashion, throughout our labor, mm -hmm. there's certain cocktails and, and times I'm gonna drop something under your tongue and say, hey, look, this, mm -hmm. this skull cap is gonna help us do this. And, and mm -hmm. I need you to take this shepherd's purse even after baby's delivered so we can get the placenta out mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And um, they're pretty effective. Um, but I, I believe sometimes people get caught up in they're so used to taking a pill or the idea of Big Pharma having the pill that fix it that they mm -hmm. don't have the belief system in the medicine, you know? Mm -hmm. You know? So as long as you can, if you're already familiar with herbs and you know how they work, within the next 30 minutes, they'll start taking effect. Yeah, I'm familiar on your list. I wrote it down. I'm familiar with primrose, primrose valerian, because I used to take valerian root for sleep. Nice. I, I, would, I stopped using the melatonin and tried the valerian root. Yep. So. Layer room, I was asking about the raspberry leaf, yep. and I was asking about primrose. So you have a few of them that was already written down. Yep. We've been watching some videos, you know. Yep. And the rest of them are specific to birth. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you took the uh, valerian now, it's kind of sedative factor. Mm -hmm. You're slowing down those Braxton hicks. We don't want to do that right now. Right. right. Yeah. But you could do, like, chamomile or something. Yeah, I have, I, tell you, I have a chamomile tea. Uh, um, what do you call it? hip compresses and get you moving and helping baby out. Let me go. <laughs> uh, that's our end game. And the funny thing, like I said, I don't even think, uh, you know, everybody has their own opinions for me mm -hmm. and somebody over there. But I'm not a screamer. Mm -hmm. I don't even scream in regular life for anything. Mm -hmm. Like my voice is not that loud. So mm -hmm. I can't imagine myself in labor surrounded by people screaming because I'm gonna be worried about what I sound like. <laughs> I'm more like a, I don't know what that's gonna sound like when this come out, so let me hush type. So I don't even see that happening. Yeah. You know, we can't predict everything, but I'm not that type. That's not my personality. 
So I don't see it happening that way. What I often see with people like myself who internalize pain mm -hmm. is the tension makes you clench in ways that you don't, you're, you're not realizing. Mm -hmm. So um, you may not be screaming hallelujah, right? but because you're not screaming hallelujah, you're kind of holding it all. Mm -hmm. And whether it be the herbal supplement touch or whatever the thing is, that uh, we have to unclench you right, and release you. But I definitely, that was on my list. I was like, because everything I watched, they're saying start red raspberry around 30, 32. So I was definitely going to ask when you would recommend that I start. Mm -hmm. You said I can do that now. Yep. Do you have a brand you prefer? Ooh, no. Not really. Okay, so then not. No. Uh, so a lot of times I get with the farmer. Farmer's market has loose. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, I just pick up because mm -hmm. they all do the same. And then is that just the one cup a day? Mm-hmm. You could do more, but that'll do that'll do the trick. And then what about dates? How do you feel about those? I like dates. I like the effects of dates. I know of raspberry tea working effectively mm -hmm. in birth, um, and I've heard of dates being good. I, my clients aren't like, you know, I haven't had a client who was set whole on user, right. but uh, I've heard good things about dates versus uh, eggplant parmesan. You know, a lot of people suggest that for induction. I don't like eggplant at all. Good. <laughs> I, I mean, a lot I, of people. I don't like the taste of eggplant. Yeah. I can't a lot, get used to it. A lot of people suggest that for induction, and I have seen that work less than I've seen dates work. Yeah, I, I was watching this video, watching a couple of videos, and the girl was saying she started she started six dates a day mm -hmm. around week 36. Mm -hmm. Yep, that sounds good. She you said could. she said she started maybe one or two before that. Mm -hmm. When she hit thirty six, she started six. Yeah, they're just packed with vitamins that are just gonna burst and without even the the whatever the main fiber or whatever the main component is, mm -hmm. it attacks the whole system and it makes that whole system well. And that's why we like them. And it just helps tone that uh, helps that red raspberry tone the woman too. Mm -hmm. So when it's time for them contractions to come, they're nice and strong, and we don't have to do it too long. And then the primrose, are you talking primrose? Are you talking about the pills, the, the capsules? You can do the capsules. I, I think if you start it now, you should do the capsules. Because I have some already. Yeah, I'm good. I was taking them and when I was, I was about to bring them. So. I was taking them when I was trying to conceive. But yeah. when I was trying to conceive, for me, they were they were throwing my cycle off, so I stopped mm. taking them, but I had them. I was just about to, I was telling somebody that they should try it, so I'm going to keep that in mind that it threw your cycle it off. It threw mine off because I have a re pretty regular mm -hmm. cycle, and so when I started taking the primrose, because I was taking it because all the videos were like, oh, take it, help with fertility, all that stuff. For me, it made my ovulation off by a week. Mm -hmm. it, it threw everything off. So I, Because I was taking primrose, and then I started trying the... What's it called? It's a vitamin for heart health. Mm -hmm. That's the one cycle off. So I just took the primrose off and I took the color design off. But for people that are having trouble conceiving, those are supposed to help with uh, cervical mucus yep. and being able to start mm -hmm. yep. So yep. it helps for some people, but I didn't have that issue, so it was just throwing me off yeah. and putting it, delaying everything. Yeah, you was getting extra juicy. Right, I was just for no reason, it was just no ovulation, nothing. Yeah. I was just like, okay, well, <laughs> let me not do what everybody's doing. Let me just stop that right now. Yeah. But I still have some of those in there. Yeah. So, yeah, those two are going to be our magic right now. And like you said, um, when you start compounding stuff too much, mm -hmm. so you might be like, give me the the thing <laughs> but if I compound them too much then they start working against each other so you might see me hold off for a minute like let's go through a few more contractions and then we'll try this because one might slow uh, calm you down but I need them contractions to be strong right then and there uh, what else can we talk about about that um, you vitamin C from a vitamin C pills yeah you can do the and and I'll have some emergency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a to boost your vitamin C right, right in the moment. Woo! Got bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you uh, can't let that thing go. Okay, I need a proper case. <laughs> that and the um, alfalfa, mm -hmm. they're both uh, like iron. Well, they're both vitamin rich. Mm -hmm. Alfalfa has the iron. After you deliver that placenta, I'll give you some tea so that you can boost up, get ready to breastfeed a little bit before you take that good old nap. <laughs> but you're having a baby. 
Yeah, I definitely don't want to talk to Sunshine about that. I want to encapsulate it. So yes, yes, yes. Um, and what else? Speaking of her, you will be meeting her next month, which is just in a couple of weeks. I already spoke to her, and then I'll exchange you guys' contact. I'll step out the way, and you guys do your thing. Um, I really just wanted to talk to you about pain and herbs today. All right. Is there anything? Because you know, we see you see we got a list up there. Is there anything that we need to add to our list of gets and to dos? That's just my regular. I gotta, work, I, gotta organize, I gotta organize after my baby shower. I gotta yep. figure out my guests. Ooh, room. baby shower! Right, so I gotta clean. But is there anything on in like? Do you have things Set that you need me to buy? Figure out. Oh, so um, we're birthing in here. We're using that bathroom. I need a table, just like a clear space, no bigger than that. Or I have a. I um, can use this bar here. Say, I have a table in the room. It's one of those folders, one yep. six feet ones. Perfect. So, so I can lay my tools in order of operations. Okay, so yeah, I have a table that folds up and moves in and out. So you can use either one. Yep. So we got that. What else you need to do? Uh, no, just, I thought about something else. Um, in the instance you have a first or second degree tear, mm -hmm. that will be my job. Mm -hmm. If you have a third degree tear, then I'll have to transfer yeah. you out. Um, we can do localized uh, lidocaine, mm -hmm. which is like a pain cream. Mm -hmm. You could. We can do the stitches, and depending on if it's that one degree where it is, we might just do liquid stitches, mm -hmm. okay? I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. But besides that, I need a table to work on. You've got your birth and space. Yeah, well, then most of the stuff you see in there will be moved out. Yeah. We're we'll just waiting until December to really do that. It looks like lighting to be fine, though. I'll have a flashlight. And that light works, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. That light works, it's just we keep it off right now, but you can easily put that on and off and then we have this light and we have that light. So there's, there's plenty of lights in here. So most of that will be moved out. Table can come in and out. Um, we're organizing. You don't need anything else, nothing else for me to buy. Because I'm not going to do it right now, but we're just making a list of things yeah. we got to get. And we are just going to be knocking some of this stuff out the list. Let me write it down. That way, if I forget. All right. So if you think about it, just let me know. Simone list. We plan. We're planners in here, so we. I love like, it. We're like, let's, I'm telling let's you, you're going down in history. <laughs> my favorite client. Just don't tell the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm a toucher, so I'll probably be massaging you throughout, even though that's mostly doula's job. Mm -hmm. It's just my nature. Um, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to make sure you got that list of herbs. Do you have any allergies? No. Well, I think we got, we probably talked about that already. No. They, uh, I have a food allergy, but that doesn't count. To what? Sesame seeds and poppy seeds. Okay. Because sometimes and it's not like the it's not the allergy where if I have it, my throat closes. It's the type that makes my face break up. Okay. So I don't have any of those like emergent allergies yep. where if you do it, be pen tight. Yeah. It's just like if I, I can't go out and eat a, a everything bagel or something because then I start breaking up right here. Mm -hmm. And I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody did it. Right. So that's, <laughs> that's literally it. I don't have any any allergies or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any concerns as we get closer? Mm -hmm. Do you have concerns? Maybe have I talked about anything? Um, no. No, just the uh, tear, but she already just told you about it. So. Oh, I'm if you were on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm trying to think if I talk about anything, because I don't, I think mean, my mind be cycling. Uh -huh. Oh, I did have something written up, didn't I? Ah, enemas. Okay. You want an enema? I'm saying yes or no, is it necessary? What do you Not necessary. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> I, you you had, you had castor oil like a week or so ago. No, I didn't. Have no, I was watching. Was it castor oil? A prune juice. Prune juice. Yes. Yes. Because I, <laughs> I was not. I was backed up for like um, five I'm, days. I'm glad like, you mentioned that because constipation is common, right? It's been like that for me since the moment like. It's like once I was one second pregnant, my, my body just stopped working. <laughs> Everything just locks up, and then I go through these periods where I'm fine, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm great. 
And then last week when I got ready to go out of town, I told the nigga, I said, it's not, plumbing's not working no more. <laughs> it stopped again. Yep, because baby is sitting right there. Girl, I was just know? drinking prune juice out of a wine glass. I think I had to drink like two, three cups and it still wasn't working. I was like, you got to let go. Yeah. Yes. So in that instance, because we know that about our body, it mm -hmm. might be useful. Okay, um, but if we have prune juice in our diet, maybe daily, mm -hmm. maybe we do red, raspberry tea in the morning and prune juice with our lunch, mm -hmm. then maybe our body is regulated to the point that we don't need it. And it can just, it'll just mm -hmm. increase it. Because what we don't want to do is stall labor because we got to take a shit. Okay, that's why I was asking. <laughs> I was asking because I'm like, don't I know want. me. I like this. Is, I'm, I haven't been like this until I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just like plumbing just shut off uh -huh. I'm like and that's why you see um, in the hospital they're like don't eat 24 mm -hmm. hours before you come in so mm -hmm. that we don't have that complication for me that doesn't work because you need some nutrients you need some energy you need some I told my, good my stuff. best friend is coming um, and I told her I was like I'm gonna buy all my fruit I said I just mm -hmm. need you to chop it yep. and put it on the whole plate yep. she's like I got you I was like I need some strawberries some yep. kiwis <laughs> yep some pineapples and some yes. mangoes and some cucumbers. Yes. I told her, I was like, I'm just going to buy it and lay it on the counter. I just need you to go chop it all up so I can just reach and grab. And you said pineapple, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, because that's one of those fibrous fruits to keep us running, mm -hmm. okay? So, yeah, because we know that about our body, let's add the prune juice into our diet from here on out. Mm -hmm. Keep us regular. So you said do the raspberry in the morning and mm -hmm. do the prune juice like yep. lunch and dinner? Yep, yep, yep. You can do it. You can interchange it however you want, but let, that's an easy way to make sure we do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we need it, we need it. I'll make sure I have it handy, okay. just in case. <laughs> just in case. I, mean, like, I think that was my only concern. Like, I don't know why. Like everybody's trying. You know, you people try to scare you, mm -hmm. but I'm not. For some reason, I'm not afraid mm -hmm. of pain or the, like I'm not there. Everybody's mm -hmm. like, I'm so afraid, and you should be afraid. And ooh, you're doing it at home and everything, and I'm just like. What are y'all afraid for? No, like I told you, being informed makes you confident. Mm -hmm. Being confident makes you relax. And the thing is, I feel like I'm so informed. I've been mm -hmm. talking to her like I know. I'd be like, I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, we gonna figure it out. So it's no big deal, you know. I think people find fear when they don't know. They like, you gonna do it at home, so who gonna do this? And who gonna, who <laughs> gonna like, take care of that? Right, I was like, my mom already knew, but um, when I saw my grandma last week, she was like, oh, it's so sad that nobody's gonna be able to be with you because of COVID. I said, oh, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm mm -hmm. going home, she's gonna say, what? Mm -hmm. I was like, no, home. She was like, wait, what? I and imagine like, having to go to the hospital and nobody can be there. That just turned me off from day one. Mm -hmm. That turned me off from the beginning. Like, there was no coming back from that. The moment you said that, I was like, there's nothing else you got to say yeah. after, that, after that point. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, and I got an appointment Friday with, who knows? You know, this when she's OB, I don't even know. The one to one I met with last time. And the thing is, it's just, I don't know. It's like, I come to this, I have this one-on-one -on -one with you, and then I go there, and it feels so impersonal. Mm -hmm. I had that I had that with you, and then I went to the appointment, like, Friday. Mm -hmm. And it was just like the tech did everything. I mm -hmm. went there, they weighed me, did blood pressure, they tried to shove a flu shot on me. I said no. She was like, We're gonna ask you every time and I was like, and I'm probably gonna tell you no every time. <laughs> she got upset about that. But the OB was in there like three minutes. She came in, pulled out a doctor, she found her, she's like, Oh, 157, have a great day, see you next month. And I was like, I wanna talk to you. <laughs> Can I get to know you? <laughs> she, Literally, it was so quick. Like I went there, and they took they took a pee sample. Um, they did the blood pressure. They weighed me, and then she just said she spent fifteen minutes asking me questions. Just going straight down. If you want this, you have this. You have this. Flu shot? No, no, no. Okay, OB will be in. She came in, did that, and left. I don't even think it was fifteen minutes. I think that appointment was like eight minutes long. <laughs> I was like, no, so man. I drove way up here. I'm gonna put my phone on time lapse. I'm like, I'm like, you drove, had me drive and waste I, I my gas. You. you come way up here, and at around. the end of the day, that's all the time you had for me was. Wait, how do you turn eight it Eight minutes. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I'm like, wow. I could so save love. I'm like, I could <laughs> save my gas. I called her. She was like, you got already. I'm like, yeah. I just walked in, and that, 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 that was it. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know. So I was like, I don't y'all need to work on y'all dead side man. I'm like, because she was more mad about me not accepting her flu shot than anything. 
She's like, is there a reason why you don't want to push her? I said, don't trust it. <laughs> she was like, it's already on time lapse, right? Yeah, it should be. I said, I don't trust it. She was like, but you've also never been pregnant. I said, that's more of a reason for me not to trust it. And she got mad. She was so mad. I said, not life, lady. I said, I've never had a flu shot. She said, you also never been pregnant. I said, <laughs> now you're answering your own question as to why I'm going to keep denying your flu shot. You got no pee? I'm going to try. Okay. I was drinking water I before you came. Up. We're going to try. Oh. Uh-oh. Where's my little party cups go? It's okay. You put it up. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I saw you when you put it down. I said, I was drinking water because I'm like, I know I'm going to have to go for her. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Like, I feel like carrying a stomach is just like something. <laughs> like, I don't know who wants to do this for fun. <laughs> Same thing happened last time. Like, I gave you more last time than I gave you this time. What you doing with it? You I don't know. It? I guess so. And then when I want to get rid of it, she don't want to let me get rid of it. I'm going to let you see. And then I'm going to measure her again. Well, you're having a tall baby. I told her nobody yeah, is tall she, except your grandma. <laughs> she stretched a couple centimeters. I need to see where she really at. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I they just could, don't they believe claim, it. They claim she has some long legs. Yeah, that's all I <laughs> That's all I got, Jasmine. Don't judge me. I'll judge you. <laughs> you got it. I ain't never seen a big. A water thing that big. <laughs> so I'm judging you. I'm and I was drinking water. it before you came. I was like, let me drink, drink, drink. And then when I went in there just now, I had to squeeze. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> why? I think you gotta go like a racehorse. Listen, if, I, I do little amounts like that all day, like 17 times a day. Um, it might be your electrolytes. You might need some coconut water. Man, oh, I hate coconut. Uh, don't, you, don't you even celebrate, Anika. You know I'm, I hate I'm it. telling you, coconut water here is different than it is where I'm from. Yeah, it tastes you different. It from the coconut, it's different than. It's different. The, like, I'm the, um, you need coconut straight from the islands. The one they make is like uh, semen. <laughs> it's like thick and white for no reason. I hate the taste of coconut. Maybe period. we should get coconut from Nam De Moon. Maybe then. The because farmer's market, yeah. I hate it, period. I'm telling you, the first time I taste coconut water when I came here, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. I hate the taste of coconut That's altogether. not the coconut water I know. <laughs> All together, I'm just like, who wants to drink this for fun? Yeah, you're going to have to drink it rather it's fun or not. Anybody follow me? Now that you said it, in front of somebody, <laughs> they're going to be in here pouring out coconut water. Yeah, going we drink do that at a grocery shop anyway. Anything so. you say in front of her. I need them electrolytes to come up. Electrolytes. Okay, let's drop okay, this. Okay, Marceline. Nobody drink the pee. <laughs> <laughs> right there. You don't say it in front of her now, so now she's going to go get that coconut. <laughs> There's no way around it now. Accountability. Pretend you didn't hear. We're going to Nambe Moon. <laughs> Ridiculous. Maybe they get the coconut straight from the island. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Leo, you, gotta, you gotta sharpen your nails, Leo. Sharpen them just for me to cut them again. You sharpen them, I'm gonna cut them. <laughs> this is a no long nail house. <laughs> So tell me how many weeks you are again. I will be, what's today, Wednesday? Mm-hmm. I'll be 25 weeks tomorrow. Okay. So she, she, she a little tall. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who she getting it from. <laughs> That's what we was just talking about. She ain't getting it from me. These short legs. Your dad's not tall too. No, my dad I'm is short. It's your grandma. <laughs> I'm gonna say I told you that my dad, I'm taller than my dad. So who unless, do you think she get it from? Unless. Leo, you taking a picture this week? Whoop, yep. Yeah. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready. He was ready. He ready. You ready? Yeah, yeah. He's like, I need a video. Come yes. on. I'm here. <laughs> How did you put oh, your hand? And put his arm on her leg to my song. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got the whole thing on your leg. Like, you can't even see it. You can tell which one hates people. <laughs> she will not entertain you. <laughs> No, 
everybody keeps saying they think she's gonna be a big baby. No, she's just gonna be tall and skinny. I'm like, give me, I'm like, give me, I'm like, give me eight thousand baby on camera, just pictures. Oh, just pictures. Okay. I'm like, give me eight pounds of baby, please. Okay, you back down. That's what I no, want. she said no. It was gonna be skinny. Lay the other way for me so I can get to her. I'm like, give me eight pound of baby. Nope. She got me out here all belly and come out five, six pounds. <laughs> yep, that's what it feel like. Okay. Let me get that in there. Five, she said I have to make sure. I do, cause I just don't believe in her. <laughs>
yes, I did. I got the paw up there. Oh, you got it. You got it. He is not interested in you. He look like he is not paying you no. any attention. No. It's like, just give me the go. You no, know, I'm good. I'm going to start really trying to be on that ball more because yes. my, my, my back and stuff is all... Yeah, she dropping down. It's all toe up. I'm mm -hmm. like, just stay in that position, girl. We don't need you to try to switch around every last minute. Mm -hmm. We get in the tub around seven centimeters. Mm -hmm. We don't want to stall labor by. They say get water calm you down. Yeah, get you too relaxed with them contractions. You fall asleep, and we supposed to be having labor. Wake up. <laughs> Marathon, I'm asleep. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't hurry people saying, I got in the water, my contract just slowed down. Uh, I'm like, because you got a name, you was chilling. Yeah, you don't want me to go home and take a nap, people be like, no, the baby coming. <laughs> right, you know, I got you, so, yeah. All right, well, I'm good for now. That's all I have written on my little notes. If I think of something, I have it next time. So, next time I'll see you, will be after the baby shower, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me how many weeks you're working. Okay? No, just say 25. Okay. 25 in a few hours. In a few hours. Where did that notes go? We're getting up there. Oh, I added it to your last. I feel like it's moving faster now than it was before. So we have 25 weeks. I will see you yeah, in about a month. Mm -hmm. A month or so. Because mm -hmm. I'll be 30 weeks when I go down there for the baby shower. So yeah. that's what that. Yep. I'll be still in that 30th week. Yep. And that's what I see. All right. Party. See you later, kitties. Bye -bye. It was nice to meet you. You was just yeah. our friend, Nigel.